vacation, but I thought it was an excellent opportunity for a pop quiz. Those of you who didn't do the summer reading of The Crucible are in for a world of pain. Uh, don't worry, Virginia, I don't expect you to have read it. Oh, yes, you have a question. There are 16 books on this syllabus. Yes. Like I said, you can always drop down the rate. 14 of them are written by men, 15 are written by white people. And I'm willing to make a guess that the one black author will crop up in the syllabus just in time for Black History Month. Am I right? Excuse me? I'm very serious about my education, Mr. Gooden. I'm worried I might internalize an ideology that the main viewpoint, the viewpoint worth studying in class, the viewpoint of the greats, is only that of the white male. Thus eradicating my voice as immaterial. Finally, I'm worried I won't be stimulated. Who did the summer reading that I asked everyone to do? You were new. You are Lucy Hernandez. Welcome. Well, Lucy, since you did the summer reading, I'm going to ask you the first question that we apparently have to ask about every work of art now, no matter what it's about or what time period it was created. How are women portrayed? Well, I think the real question is, why are we still reading this book? It's written by some rich white guy, about some rich white guy. And I guess we're supposed to feel bad for him because he's obsessed with the only girl he can have. I mean, if the point is to learn about the American dream, we should be reading about immigrants or the working class or black mothers or at least someone who doesn't already have a mansion. Why aren't we reading Sandra Sinero? That's a great book. Hey, I was talking. Yeah, I know, but The Great Gatsby is a classic. 